This is the weather forecast video for Friday, March 23rd, 2012. Taking a look at the satellite image from last evening, you can see a pretty strong storm over the middle part of the country swirling around over Kansas, bringing showers and some isolated thunderstorms to the area. This will be finally moving away later today. Watch warning map from before midnight. It was fairly quiet across the country, even with that big storm system in the middle of the country. A few flood warnings south of here. Some winter weather issues out west. Otherwise, it's quiet across the country. QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock, shows maybe up to another quarter of an inch of rain possible for the, this storm system. And this includes another storm, but it's not really showing much. So let's take a look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. today, there's the, the big circular storm over Missouri at this point. Still cut off and still bringing some scattered showers and maybe an isolated rumble of thunder or two. Best chances will be east of the state. There could be some severe weather well to our east and southeast as well, but not around here. Saturday, skies start off cloudy, especially east of I-35 with clearing into the afternoon, and skies will be sunny by sundown, and temperatures will be approaching 70 and be back into the 70s on Sunday with mostly sunny skies. So that'll be the better of the two days of the weekend uh, is Sunday with warmer temperatures and plenty of sunshine. Monday, unfortunately, the next storm is already on the move and already coming this way. Could see some scattered showers and an isolated thunderstorm over the western counties while the east stays mainly dry. Tuesday, the entire state gets in on the action with some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Could there be some severe weather? It's too early to determine at this time. We'll have to see on future runs. That storm is gone on Wednesday off to our east, but temperatures really don't cool off back to the 60s and 70s across the state. So the warm weather continues even into Thursday. Could be some scattered showers and storms to our south and southwest with a weak disturbance there, but nothing around here. Still warm, still dry. But the next day, a week from today, next Friday, another storm comes in and that's going to possibly bring some interesting weather to the state in the form of some showers and maybe thunderstorms again. But even looking behind that, there's no cold air behind that either. So the warm weather is going to continue even into April, as we see right now. A few days later, on the 2nd of April, big storm. We're talking very big, bigger than the current one, taking up pretty much the western third of the country, and we'll be just on the east side in showers, thunderstorms. This could be severe weather here, even looking this far out. This just has the severe weather look to it, at least at this point. We'll have to see if it continues on future runs. And at the end of the forecast, on the 7th, another storm with some energy over Oklahoma and Texas, with a ridge just to its east, and some more storms with a low pressure over northeastern Colorado. So it's showers, thunderstorms over the plains into Iowa once more. So it's getting rather active heading into the month of April. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one on Saturday.